guys, welcome back to another one of our videos at BSAX Pro. Today I'm going to be talking about hitting funny keys and making funny notes. So one of the key things that happens when you first start playing the saxophone is that you don't have your fingers in quite the right position. So when you're trying to play notes, you're accidentally knocking some keys that will give you some really funny sounds. Okay? So the classic place that this happens is in what I call the knuckle keys just down here, underneath your right hand. So when you put your thumb on that thumb hook, okay, or thumb rest, and then get your fingers onto the pearls to guide you, you can knock these knuckle keys. And when you do that, you get some weird sounds. <laughs> that your thumb isn't too far round on that thumb rest. If you do that, then you should have plenty of space. If you do have particularly small hands, guys, then what you do is just push your thumb out and round a little bit. Have a little less of it underneath the thumb rest and you should get a nice bit of space under there. Okay? Hopefully, that will take care of these knuckle keys. Mike is easy saying, so we've got these, these sort of side keys. Um, but also, especially as a girl, because your hands tend to be a bit smaller, um, you might struggle with these little side keys, especially the second one, because it, you know, it, it's sort of very easily touched or tabbed or whatever you want it. Tabbed? <laughs> it's not tabbed. <laughs> you might struggle with this, especially the second key, because you know, it's easily caught with your, especially with rings, easily caught with rings, easily caught with fingers. Um, if you start to hear weird noises like this, and you, you can't work out what's going on, you're probably hitting one of these three little palm keys. Um, the best way to avoid this, very similar to the knuckle keys, try and keep your fingers on the pearls. I like to think of like a C shape, so if you can keep your hand relaxed, not, not rigid, but nice relaxed, wide C, so you're not compressed, you're not squashed, you should be able to miss those. If you're still really struggling, and you're still getting... <laughs> random noises, just slide your thumb a little bit off of the black, the black back pearl. Yours might not be black, yours might be silver or gold or white or green or blue tack or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> slide your thumb across that thumb rest and you, you know, it should give you enough space to miss that palm key. That's the ideal thing, you just don't want them collapsing onto those keys. As you can see, it will open them and you won't get any sound. Without the keys. 